Now, I am... I would, I suppose I would say upset when it comes down to this, because I value freedom of speech, and I value honesty when it comes down to what you actually profess to have. Sally Morgan, the famous psychic, who I personally consider to be a fraud, she has received a load of money, well, so a load of money, £125,000 from the Daily Mail because she took them to court. Suggesting damages. Because they suggested that she was a scam artist. They didn't bother pushing, did they? Pushing for the fact that she has not shown that she has an ability in controlled conditions. The fact that she can easily research people using various computer programs and using Facebook. So her, her own little team can work that. The fact she gets very often dozens, if indeed not more, letters every time she goes to a town. So she doesn't need to do any work. She can just simply work off the letters, adding a bit of cold reading. So desperate people sending their letters to her. So when she does a show, she could, I say could and probably does, use that information to actually do so-called brilliant readings. As for the rest, it seems to be that she is basically just a cold reader. She's been shown time and time and time again, not just on the internet, but certainly on the internet, on YouTube, various individuals, as well as beyond, on various websites like the Bad Psychics uh, Forum. It's been shown that she is using cold reading techniques massive generalisation, so-called Barnum statements, to do her readings. And many people have said, why don't you take up the James Randi Paranormal Challenge and win a million dollars, and you can give it to a charity of your choice or keep it for yourself if you wish. So, this woman... I would call her a fraud, in my opinion, has been, well, <laughs> avoiding any form of testing, and now gets a massive payout from the Daily Mail because of old damages. How much money is this woman making anyway? Regular shows around the country, regular readings for clients, including celebrities, TV show contracts. Basically, this woman, this fraudster, Sally Morgan, is using lies to gain funds, and the Daily Mail was brave enough originally to just call it a scam, and now, because they're afraid of negative publicity and, well... They've been taken to court. They've paid out a bunch of money to her. Okay, here's a quote. I'll read it out to you. There will always be sceptics who attack my work, and I understand and accept that. However, to libel me and falsely accuse me of a contract does not constitute a rational commentary or debate. I hope now this statement and apology will repair the damage that has been done. Let's remind ourselves, folks, why these particular stories have come forward about Sally Morgan. The main event was a couple of years ago, in 2011. A couple of people in Ireland, towards the back of the room, in a theatre where she was doing a performance, could hear through a window people behind like the scenes, passing on information. They could hear it clearly. The newspapers reported upon that. Sally Morgan sued for libel. Think about that, folks. 
people with genuine concerns about a hidden earpiece. By the way, you can find images of the hidden earpiece. I've spoken about this time and time again. Sally as she finally leaves the stage. Live show. A member of the audience claimed they heard a man backstage feeding Sally information in secret. And this is the way it's been reported. Um, a, a fan who was sitting in the back row of the Grand Canal Theatre in Dublin during one of Psychic Sally's shows told a radio station that uh, she could hear a man's voice through an open window behind her claiming that everything he said the psychic was saying 10 seconds later she added that uh, when theater staff realized members of the audience could hear the mysterious voice during the performance then the window was closed but stephen fallon the general manager of the theater said the voice came from two lighting technicians who were talking during the show so absolutely not a clear cut case one way or the other here and then in the statement uh, from her website the recent performance at the theatre I felt was a fantastic show I was completely unaware that two young lads who are employed by the theatre as technicians have been accused of feeding me information I would like to state that I have never met these two boys before in my life more importantly they have nothing to do with my show I have no communication with them there is no way that they would have been able to talk to me whilst I was on stage I receive hundreds of emails and letters from people who I have helped over the years and their support inspires me to continue what I do which of course you know we can't judge that one way or the other but it certainly opens up I the topic think I can for conversation judge it uh, with something I found um, yesterday um, basically um, she's not denying that she gets any communication from someone she's denying specifically the lighting people well she says that it only her, her headset is purely a microphone she does not yeah, receive That's the, head, what she the headset uh, with the microphone is purely a microphone and she can't get messages from that but she hasn't denied having a separate earpiece which is on the other side there's a shot of her walking off stage taking off the microphone and a separate earpiece which she leaves dangling it's an earpiece mm. she has worn an earpiece on stage well we i haven't seen that so we couldn't possibly come okay, that's my, that's my that, opinion that, that but I, I challenge her to deny that um. oh here's a good statement basically her lawyer Graham Atkins told the court she has performed in over 600 shows in more than a hundred uh, different theatres or venues to audiences stretching to hundreds of thousands. That means nothing. <laughs> I mean, such talk proves nothing. The fact that she uses cold reading, has been known to use trickery, and has used an earpiece, says a lot. And yes, just to finish up, the paper withdraws the suggestion that Mrs. Uh, Morgan used a secret earpiece in her Dublin show. Well, I don't know if she used an earpiece in her Dublin show. But you know what? It's been shown on film that she does use an earpiece. Here's the clip. And for goodness sake, look into what psychics do, how they can work, and be a bit more savvy as far as how these individuals use trickery. You see, I'm sure when she took up, like, you know, legal advice, because of the allegation of an earpiece, she could play upon that to take the Daily Mail to court. If they'd focused on her broader trickery, then I don't think she would have had so much of a case. If they'd been willing to, well, actually try and confirm through some means, some way, shape or form, whether or not she was a fraud in their article, then perhaps they 
would have been a bit more legally safe. And it's just mad that a person with so much money as Sally Morgan has just received a bonus for covering herself legally. So now people say, oh well, yes, she actually sued the paper and therefore she must be a real psychic. 